What's up, guys? War here. Welcome back to the channel. So it is day one of season five, and I wanted to bring you a quick video. This is not breaking down how to do the Infernal Horde endgame activity, but I'm going to tell you right now, this is by far the best way to get gold in season five. I'm going to go ahead and break down this. We're on our last wave. We are doing a tier three. I'll explain the numbers once we get in there, but we're going to go ahead and do this right now. We're going to blast this out. You guys are going to see the final wave, and then we're going to fight the bosses, and I'm going to show you guys how much gold you can actually get from doing these turn-ins. It is insane. Tree of Whispers, eat your heart out. And as you guys can see that I'm playing Blizzard right now, which is... Uh, Pretty insane with the brand new blue rose, which is just busted. So I'm having a blast with this. This is very, very easy. The cool thing about doing this for getting gold is you can access this in world tier three. So you can access this as soon as you get into world tier three, which is pretty awesome. Um, even if you don't though, and you go into world tier four, getting gold, easy. You can complete level or tier two. The odd thing is, is that tier two uh, compasses for the infernal hordes are level 75 monsters and these monsters by going up one tier to three are level 100 so just keep that in mind we did try it a couple times and just failed but uh we weren't strong enough i would definitely tell you to do this at 80 at least when you're doing this but i'm gonna tell you right now man i got 14 million almost 15 million and turning in your your aether for gold mwah, money Okay, absolute money. All right, now what we're going to do is really, really quick, we just destroyed them. We're going to go fight the bosses, which I think might be easier than actually the uh, the actual Infernal Horde there. But with that said, it's still a really tough fight. So we're going to go ahead and blast this. We're going to kill these guys. You're going to see the chest come up. Um, and I'm just going to break down an even number for you, okay? I'm going to use uh, 100 of the Cinders, or the Aethers, because I want to open up the, the guaranteed greater uh, greater Affix chest. That is one thing that is a little weird, is that in, in Tier 2, you can't get the uh, the greater Affix chest. It's not guaranteed, so it's not in there until you do, uh, until you do at least Tier 3 or higher. So, uh, yeah. It's a little, it sucks a little bit, but that's okay. So let's blast this last guy. I'm going to spam just my, my Blizzard and just destroy him. Blizzard is insanely strong right now. So, at the end, you finish. You're going to have all of your stuff here. So, you're going to have the uh, Souls of Greater Rift. You got equipment, resources, and then trade for gold. So, we're going to open this first. That way, I get my Greater Affix guaranteed item because it's always worth it. And then I got 126. Now, in Tier 2... 120 roughly was 4 million or no 2 million it was like 2 million almost 3 million gold now i'm sitting at 14.7 so i'm going to spend the rest of my 126 you guys are going to see how much i go up grab it all okay boom now i'm at 21 i just gained almost 8 million gold and that was 121 ether on a tier 3 so I'm telling you guys right now, gold is not going to be a problem this season. This is definitely the best way to go ahead and farm gold. The best and easiest way. Now, there is one negative to this, and I have to talk about it because it, it, it you guys are going to watch the video, and then you're going to be like, oh, war, I don't have any compasses anymore. This is true, okay? You have to have the compasses to actually do this. I'm all out now. So the only way to get these is to go through... Uh, Hell Tides, Hell Tides Chess, Event Chess, Nightmare Dungeons. That is the only way to get the compasses. However, there's a second way to get the compasses, which you can use with all of your juicy sigil dust, and you can craft them at the Occultist. Okay. I do not have the craft unlocked. Okay. It's here. Okay. In order to get that craft, you do have to finish the quest line. Okay. You got to finish the quest line. In order to unlock it, it starts way down here. You got to finish this quest line, and then you'll be able to access it, okay? So that'll be for another video. I will go ahead and break you break that down from start to finish on how you do that. But, yeah, guys, Infernal Hordes is 100% the way to get gold this season in Diablo 4 Season 5. 
super, super easy. This is a, just a very, very quick video. I didn't want to spend too much time on it, so I hope you guys enjoy the video. Make sure to like it. Comment down below. Let me know what you guys' thoughts are, if you guys have any other strategies for that. Tree of Whispers, I didn't really test a whole lot this season so far, but I don't think it's going to touch uh, the Infernal Horde. So, um, yeah. Like the video, guys. Again, comment, sub if you're new, and as always, stay gaming. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.